Okay, what, what I feel is kind of funny is the fact that during uh, our sparring, it was timing sparring, and everybody was really controlled. And in the midst of sparring, all right, I got literally 100% accidentally dinged in the head. And it wasn't by overzealousness, it wasn't by hacking, anything. It was just the way it happened. I mean, when you start to spar, and we weren't going hard, we were just playing. And every once in a while, something happens and you ding. What I thought was amusing was the fact that people came up to me and went, oh, look at your eye. That should almost be as normal as taking a piss if you're a fighter. It's part of the deal. This is, I didn't, ha I had no idea until someone came up to me that goes, oh, you got your, I think you got your eye dinged. I go, oh, good. Now, do I stop? No, to me it's normal. Unless it's something that physically requires Ditches, or you seriously actually injured yourself, not just hurt, but injured yourself, then you can recruit yourself from, from sparring or whatever you're doing and go get it fixed. But a normal ding or bing or bump or little bit of a cut that requires nothing at all other than some ice should not even be a consequence. You should just sit there and go, normal, not, oh my gosh. If you consider yourself even closely, remotely, incrementally a fight gym or someone who trains a fighting art the goal is not to get this but when it happens it just is don't worry about it it's a fight gym we are we are doing stuff that will physically take out another human being and by practicing that every once in a while you get dinged and even in the most controlled environment but practice makes habit and if you get dinged, all of a sudden you just go, oh my gosh, what's gonna happen in a fight? Oh my gosh, in a real fight, in a street fight, it shouldn't even bother you. You just go on, play the game, have some fun, and forget about it, because it is normal, normal, all right?